when we need to evaluate the integration, most of the time, it is better and easier for us to evaluate this integration by changing the coordinate system. In our previous examples, we needed to evaluate this integration. Since it has the radicals, it was really difficult for us to evaluate this, and we decided to change the coordinate system from the rectangular system to the polar coordinate system, and in this integration becomes equal to this one, which is much easier to evaluate. In this video, we would like to discuss how to make the changes from one set of variables into the another one in general case for the multivariable functions. So please remember so when we have the single variable function, for example, in this case, if we need to evaluate this integration, but at the same time we're given a formula for the u, u is some function of the x, we would do the change of the coordinate system from the u to the x using this formula. Basically, we would evaluate the f for dx or for the g of x and multiply this to the derivative of the g. So let's say we're given the equation. So if you remember this is an equation of the ellipse. So in general case the equation of the ellipse is given as x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to the 1. Now we would like to change the coordinate system from x, y to the u and v was the general equation. So x is given as a u over t and y is given as a 3v. Let's substitute them and see what we get. It's going to be u squared over 4 plus 9v squared over 36 is equal to the 1. So 9 cancels with the 36 and it will be 4 here. And if I multiply everything to the 4, I would get u squared plus v squared is equal to the 4. So you see that so we changed the coordinate system from the x, y variables to the u, v variables. And previously our region was an ellipse. And now our region is a circle with a radius t. So let's discuss how to how to change the variables in general case. So in order to change the variables in general case from x, y to the u and v, if the x and y are are connected with the u and v with the t functions g and h, we need to evaluate some some mathematical identity which is called the Jacobian. So Jacobian is the identity which is obtained by evaluating the determinant of this matrix. So if the x is given with some function of the g, which depends on the new variables, and y is given as an another function which depends on new variables, then we would construct the Jacobian by putting on the first row the partial derivatives of the x with respect to the u and v. And on the second row, we would put the partial derivatives of the y, or h function, with respect to the u and v. So in general, if I need to integrate this double integration in the x-y coordinate system, I would change the variables from x-y to the u-v in this way. So I would evaluate this function for the new variables, u and v, then I would multiply this to the Jacobian and integrate this later with respect to the u and v. For example, so let's say we would like to change the coordinate system from rectangular system to the polar coordinate system, so from x, y to the r and theta. We know the connection between the x, y coordinates and r theta coordinates. x is given as the r multiplied to the cosine of theta, and y is given as the r multiplied to the sine of theta. And the double integration of some function f, x, and y with respect to the x and y would be equal to the double integration of this function with respect to the r and theta multiplied to the Jacobian. So the Jacobian is obtained by taking the derivative of the x with respect to the r, then taking the derivative of the fx with respect to the theta, then taking the derivative of the y with respect to the r, and taking the derivative of the y with respect to the theta, and integrate this with respect to the r and theta. So let's evaluate this determinant. So it would be the our function multiplied. So the partial derivative of the x with respect to the r is a cosine. So with respect to the theta, it would be minus r sine of theta. The derivative of the y with respect to the r is sine of theta. And the derivative of the y with respect to the theta is r cosine of theta, dr d theta. So if you would evaluate the determinant of this matrix, it would be r multiplied to the cosine of square r multiplied to the cosine square of theta, if you multiply this t, then we need to subtract this from the multiplication of this t. Minus, minus r multiplied to the sine square of theta. And if I take out the r's 
from the brackets, I would have sine squared plus cosine squared, which is equal to the 1. So that is why it would be simply r. Then I would get a formula for the double integration, f of r and theta multiplied to the r dr d theta. So we obtain exactly the formula which we had before for the double integration in the polar coordinate system.